Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Vincent. Could you name all the seven defense in this video? All right, here we go. There are so many defense in football, and it is very important that you could identify the defense right at the first time. In this video, I'm going to show you the seven common defenses in football, and you could try to name them as much as you can. Before we start, if you are new in here, consider subscribing. Don't forget to click the bell below so that you don't miss out an episode. Take a look at this defense. Could you name it? This is the standard defense, the most basic form of defense in football. The advantage of this defense is that you are trying to e evenly distribute your goalie rods and maximize the defending area, avoiding any eye formation caused by switching or crossover motions. However, you are giving away the dings or cut angle shots and your opponent could simply based on the movement of one rod to decide his shooting option. Now, take a look at this. Could you name it? This is the reverse defense. Basically, it is mirrors of the standard defense, but they are not the same. The advantage of this defense is that you are posting up your defense for the dead bar shot. In other words, your opponent needs to go deep to the pool side for the shot. In addition, due to the nature of this formation, it is quite difficult for your opponents to read the far side of this defense. However, if your opponent has a strong pull side, he will destroy your defense easily. And also, the bumper is actually an addition indicator for your opponent. You are giving away more information to the shooter. What about this defense? Could you name it? This is the fast shuffle defense. Basically, it is the standard defense with fast shuffling motion. The advantage of this defense is that it is great against any beginners or rookies that struggle to go deep to the pull side or push side. And you are putting pressure to your opponent with this exaggerated movement. In other words, it may affect the quality of your opponent's shot. However, as you can tell, it costs you a lot of energy for this defense and you will get tired easily. Also, if you are not experienced with the shuffling movement, you may shake the table and affect the ball of your opponent. You may get a reset warning because of that. How about this defense? Could you name it? This is the race defense. The defense simply based on your reaction time. If your opponent's shot is not fast and raceable, you could completely shut down your opponent's shot. There is no way for him to score on you. And it is a great defense against one directional shot, such as pull shot or push shot, because you always know which side he is shooting. However, in the top level gameplay, Almost all the shots are not raceable, so it is not an effective defense system in top level tournament. And you have to stay alert all the time. If you lose a split second of concentration, you may not be able to react accordingly. Great, you made your way to here. Could you name this defense? This is the base defense. This defense involves so much thinking and mental strategies behind. You are trying to base for the shot. You are showing him a hole and make your opponent believe that it is opened. When he goes for the shot, you bring the guy to block it. The advantage of this defense is that you are putting mental pressure to your opponent and he may question his reading defense ability. And so, he will frustrate and struggle to read your defense properly. However, it is very hard to master this defense, and it takes time to build an effective system to defend against different opponents. Let's take a look of this. Could you name this defense? This is the three-man defense, as suggested with the name, 
you are utilizing all your defensive players into your defense. The advantage of this defense is that if you use it properly, it is quite difficult for your opponent to read your defense, due to the fact that he needs to keep in mind that the third man will come into the defensive zone anytime, and you are constantly changing the look of your defense all the time, mixing up the pattern of standard defense and reverse defense. It is difficult to read. However, if you are going to bring your third man into play, there is a split second that the goal is wide open, where only the goalkeeper is defending right in front of your goal. Any experienced players could make use of this weakness to get a score easily. And this defense is quite hard to master due to the complexity of the defense system, and also you really need to know when to bring the third man into your defensive zone. And for the last one, could you name this defense? If you have no ideas how to block your opponent, this is the defense for you, the random defense. However, keep in mind that defense is one of the major components in football. If you want to improve your game, it is always good to learn the defense concepts and play around with different defense systems. Remember, offense win games, but defense win championships. Thanks for watching this episode. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video, and I will see you again next time.